for you to get to uh, do this with us. And so um, you guys sit back and relax and enjoy what we are going to take a lot of joy in seeing. Jamie? Oh, Jeff, will you come up and join uh, Jamie and Shane over here? Sorry, bud. And if both Mrs. Harris is, would you guys come and join Brother George and I on this side? Back in 2006, Jeff started his doctoral studies, and just this month he has completed them. And that is a huge accomplishment. Many of you guys may not even be aware of it because he hasn't made a big fuss about it. He even made it look easy, uh, preaching and leading a congregation at the same time. And uh, Jeff, we know that you made a promise to your mom that you would walk the stage for your graduation because you missed uh, a couple other graduations (laughs) prior to this. And we also know how disappointed you were when you found out that because of a conflict between the graduation in Kansas and Sydney's surgery in Dallas, you were not going to be able to keep that promise. And so we wanted to help you out with that. And even though this is not the official stage, we're hoping that this one will be even more special because you're surrounded by hundreds of people who love and support you wholeheartedly. So, Jeff, when I think of uh, your doctoral pursuits and you finishing up your degree, I think of verses like 2 Peter 3, 17 and 18, where Peter's compelling all of us to pursue growth in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so what I'm so thankful for in you and in this pursuit and what it's been for you is that that's not just been for yourself. It's not just been growth for you, but it's been for the benefit uh, of each one of us in our growth in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So. Uh, on behalf of myself and the staff and uh, this congregation, just want to thank you for being a pastor that would love us and lead us like that. So, love you, bro. Thank you. Amen. Without uh, further ado, I would like to uh, cue the music. And... Uh, I officially present our candidate today for his Doctor of Ministry, George Jeffrey Harris. I thought that was a theme to Animal House. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, there's a long history, and I'll just take a minute to say this, but this wouldn't have as much meaning to you as it does to us if you didn't know this. When Linda and I married, she was a freshman in college, and her daddy said, it's okay if you're married, but you got to promise me that you'll finish college. Well... She made that promise, and about a year and a half after we were married, uh, we started having babies, and this was the last one. And she didn't finish college until she was 50 years of age. She went back to school to keep her word (laughs) to Papa. And he kept saying to me, now, son, if you're going to be a preacher, you need to go and get your doctor's degree. And uh, he just stayed on me. It took me about seven years. Then when Jeff surrendered to the ministry, he was getting on up in years. Uh, My grandfather. Yeah, that's what I mean, the grandfather. And when Papa Jones uh, went to be with the Lord, 
he left uh, some money to Linda with instructions. You see that this boy gets his doctorate <laughs> when Jeff wasn't even, I mean, I don't think he was out of Baylor by that time. But anyway, we made some commitments and some promises. And today is a, a sort of a fulfillment of a promise to Mr. Don R. Jodes. And uh, this is where you get it. <laughs> Anyway, it's my privilege today as a former trustee of Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary and in the absence of their president to be able to present George Jeffrey Harris this diploma. Trustees of the seminary upon the recommendation of the faculty in virtue of the authority invested herein confer upon Dr. George Jeffrey Harris who has satisfactorily pursued the studies passed the examinations and completed with all the honors requirements thereunto for the degree of doctor of ministry with all of the rights privileges and honors thereunto appertaining on this day in December 2011. Congratulations, Dr. Harris. And now we've asked uh, Linda and Jody to do the formal hooding of your pastor, Dr. Harris. Congratulations, son. Say a word. There are a lot of people that are in a lot of trouble right now. Um, this is, uh, means a lot to me. It would be difficult for me. I, I don't like surprises, as you know. Um, but uh, to my mom and dad, Obviously, I wouldn't have accomplished this. I would have quit a billion times if it wasn't to fulfill a promise to my Bob. So, appreciate that. It's not my doctorate. It's yours. Because uh, what I wrote about was a community of believers radically committed to encouraging and coaching other churches to plant churches five years ago you guys threw your hat in with me to plant a hundred churches in ten years uh, we're five years in and about 58 churches in and we'll see that go through and that's all this is is your dream your vision fulfilled I just wrote it up and submitted it you got an A so Thank you. And uh, to my staff, Jamie, thanks for being here. Ed, Mike, thanks for letting me uh, unwillingly um, basically railroad your sermon. So, uh, all right, yeah, so love you, Daddy. You set the bar high. All right. I want to say this, uh, a little uh, humor to kind of lighten this thing up a little bit. I was uh, sick in bed uh, about 1969, and the trustees of Washtenaw Baptist University called Linda and told her that the trustees had voted to confer an honorary doctor's degree upon me. And uh, Jeff came in. He was just a little bitty guy. And uh, Linda was kind of, I think, maybe crying. And she said, uh, the doctors had just been to the house. I was, I'd had anaphylactic shock, and they had to come out and give me a, 
shot. I'm allergic to some kind of fish. Anyway, the doctor was there and uh, had given me a shot, had come to the house. Jeff is standing out in the hall, and Linda is a little upset. And he looked up at her, and he says, What's wrong, Mama? And she said, Oh, nothing, son, nothing. It was just a call from uh, the president of the college and they're going to make daddy a doctor. And he looked up and he said, will he get one of those little bags? And so this is the bag. <laughs> but I want you to know something. It won't change him. A doctor's degree is like a curl in a pig's tail. There's no more pig. You guys, uh, will you join me in praying uh, for Jeff and the whole family? Heavenly Father, you have blessed us so richly uh, with this entire family, uh, founding this place and then leading it uh, with such vigor. And so, God, as we celebrate uh, them today, we pray, especially for Jeff, uh, for Jody, for their kids, uh, that you would continue to bless them, God, to provide for them uh, as they provide for us. Father, we love you so much. We couldn't be more grateful for all you do and all you've given us. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen.